This week's project is Simplicity 8591, which is a 1960s reproduction pattern. And first, while we go through the prep that I'm doing in the video now, I will talk about the pattern sizing. For this pattern, I chose a 16, and there was about four inches of ease in it. Overall, I would say that it did fit true to size. It is um, probably not as much ease as they say on the printed tissue. I would say there's maybe only about a couple inches of ease in it actually, at least for me, but overall the sizing is good. And as you can see here, I'm just doing the all of the prep stuff that I do in the beginning of my videos. So all of the surging and then I'm putting my uh, my facings together and here I have gotten to the point where I'm sewing my shoulder seams together This project was pretty simple and pretty straightforward And I would say that it's one of those you could get done in a couple of hours um, So after doing all the prep stuff and putting all of my my shoulder seams together then I'm going to do my sleeves and this one's going to be a little different than what I have done before so I'm doing a, a flat uh, insertion for better for lack of a better word um, so I just found the midpoint and then I pin that in first and then pin the two edges in and I'm going to gather this down and then I'm going to pin that in I'm going to ease that into the shoulder so here I am using that method that I have done in previous videos which is to use the um, the floss dental floss and I can link a video above to go more in depth but it's basically just using any kind of cheap floss that you want to get wherever and then I do a zigzag stitch over top and then it creates a, an easier way to gather down your stitches and here I am attaching the sleeve and as I go, go along and pin, pull my pins, I'm straightening out my sleeves so that I don't get a lot of weird puckering. I mean, obviously you want it to look gathered, but you don't want your gathers to be all over the place. So I am pulling the gathers down so that they are perpendicular to my needle. You can see that I'm doing that there. And this actually is my favorite way to do sleeves. Uh, anybody who has been sewing for a while, they'll tell you that putting sleeves in is not the most fun part of making any garment by any stretch of the imagination. But I do like this method much better than putting them in when they are already constructed. And the reason for that is because I feel that it is so much simpler to attach it and you know to pin it in and then go back and just sew down the entire side seam so here I am attaching the ruffle onto the bottom of my sleeve and again I'm using that gathering method with the floss so I'm gonna pin the two edges and then I'm just going to gather it down and fit it into the the end of the sleeve attach that on and then once I have done this on both of my sleeves then I'm going to put my all of my seams together as you can see here and I'm going to sew up the entire side of the bodice so when I say this, what I mean is you can see that my ruffle that's laid together and then I'm putting my sleeve together and then we're going down the side seam of the bodice. Then I'm going to repeat that on the other side and then the only opening will be the back which will be where the zipper goes. Now I'm going to attach the facings after that is finished. 
So I have those pinned in. And then I'm going to do an edge stitch to that to finish that off. And that is the completed look. Of course, that will be folded down and then pressed. And now I'm getting to my skirt. So I'm just sewing the side seams. And this is just one big rectangle. And then I have some gathering at the top. So I'm attaching my floss here. And then I'm going to gather this down and I'm going to fit it into my bodice. Now, one other thing that I should say about the sizing and the fit for me is I always do my darts in the waist a little bit later just so that I can fit them to myself. And for this dress, I did not do the front darts. I did the side darts, but not the front darts. So like basically where the waist is, I did not do those darts. I didn't want that to be too tight on me. And it worked out perfectly for me. So you can see I'm straightening my gathers here. And now my bodice and my skirt are connected and I'm gonna do my zipper. This is just a standard zipper insertion. And once I have this side put in, I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth this time about how I finish off the top of it. So once I get to the top of the bodice, then I'm going to fold over my facing. Okay, so here's what this looks like before I fold the facing down. Now it's pinned down over top of the zipper, so I'm going to sew that down. And then I'm gonna turn this out and then that will be nice and finished. And here's the completed look. I did put pockets into this. I want pockets in all my dresses now. So if you don't put pockets in your dresses, you should definitely start. Overall, this was a really simple project. I'll definitely make this again. And I would certainly recommend it to anyone who wants to try.